giant ants show no mercy within the family. This day started like many others, when I went outside with my camera to film ants. But today, I saw something I had never seen before. As I reached the tree with the nest, I came to film, I saw strange movement on the ground. I completely froze. Two workers from the same species were attacking another, both gripped the victim with sharp mandibles, while she struggled to break free. Why would they do this? What could drive ants to turn on one of their own? Stay with me, because what I discovered will change how you see the secret wars happening under our feet. Every single day. I drove to one of my favorite places, 30 minutes from home. A quiet patch of forest and park, where I filmed over 10 different ant species in the past. This place is always alive. Trails of tiny workers carrying food, soldiers patrolling, queens hidden deep within their nests. I know this place well, but today, something was different. I was here with a mission. There was one spot in particular I wanted to visit, an old, weathered giant tree that hides the nest of the species I had come for, Campanotus lignoperta, often called the giant forest ant. One of the largest ant species in Europe, they are strong, fast, and work very well together. Campanotus lignoperta is not just another ant, it's a heavy weight in the world of ants. The queens are giants, up to 17 or 18 millimeters long. They wear deep reddish-brown armor on the front, with a black, glossy abdomen at the back, strong jaws, a tank-like body, and if that's not enough, they can spray formic acid straight into the face of an enemy. I know this species well, because I keep a colony of my own. In early June, a queen arrived to me with just a few cocoons. Since then, she has raised seven workers and laid more eggs. Like in many ant species, the very first workers are smaller than the ones that come later. These first-generation workers are called ninitics. They are the pioneers of the colony, raised entirely by the queen's own energy from the reserves in her body. Because of this, they are weaker and smaller, but they take on every job, caring for the queen, feeding the brood, and foraging for food. Over time, as the colony grows and the queen has more help, new workers will be bigger, stronger, and better equipped to defend the nest. Giant forest ants are monogenous, which means they live with one queen only. She is the heart of the colony. Every worker you see is her daughter. In the beginning, the queen works alone, raising her first group of workers without any help. Later, the colony grows into a mixed army, small miners, medium medias, and the massive majors. They choose safe homes, underground, inside dead wood, or, like here, in the hollow of an old tree. They are built for defense. If you're an insect wandering into their territory, they won't just chase you away, they'll try to make sure you never come back. And as I talk about them now, remember, these are the same ants I was watching fight on the forest floor. The ones with such strong teamwork, such loyalty to their own queen yet here, two of them were trying to kill another of their kind. That didn't make sense. Because Campanotus lignoperta workers from the same colony would never do this. So who was this ant they were attacking, and why did she have to die? If you've enjoyed the video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's make this little ant happy. And don't forget to leave a comment about your favorite ant. On the forest floor, invisible to us, borders are everywhere. Here, the first colony, Colony A, lives in the hollow of this giant tree. Just a few meters away, Colony B has its own home, hidden in the roots of another tree. To us, this short distance seems harmless, but for ants, it is a front line. 
Each colony has its own unique chemical signature, a scent carried on every worker's body. This scent is like a passport. Without it, you are a stranger. Ants check identity constantly. When two meet, they touch antennae, tasting the chemicals on each other's exoskeleton. If the scent matches, they move on. If it doesn't, there's only one response, attack. That's what happened here. This worker from Colony B crossed into Colony A's territory, whether by mistake or while searching for food, it didn't matter at all. In the world of ants, crossing the wrong border can be fatal to anyone. These ants were not nestmates. This was a border fight, a battle between two colonies of the same species. For ants, colony identity is everything. Different colonies mean different smells. A unique chemical code that tells every worker who is family and who is not. And when that code doesn't match, there is no mercy. An outsider is an enemy. Here in front of me, a small minor worker had either been sent or had decided herself to finish the job. The major worker nearby stood watch, making sure nothing interrupted the attack. The fight was one-sided. The attackers had control from the start. The victim moved less and less, until finally, she did not move at all. It was over. At the end, the minor worker gripped the body in her jaws and began to drag it back to her own colony. In the world of ants, there is no mercy, no treaties, no diplomacy. Only the constant defense of the nest, the protection of the queen, and the survival of the colony. I watched the ants disappear into the distance, and the forest became quiet again. This was just one small moment in the busy and sometimes violent lives of ants. It made me wonder how many other hidden battles are happening right now under our feet. In the world of ants, there is still so much more to discover. The science that reveals how they think, work, and fight. The skills of ant keeping that bring their hidden lives right into your home. And the raw drama that unfolds every single day beneath our feet. We'll witness their battles and alliances, their careful construction of nests, and the endless search for food that drives every colony forward. We'll see how these tiny creatures face challenges far greater than themselves, yet still find ways to survive, adapt, and thrive. If you want to step deeper into this hidden world, from science to ant keeping to drama and beyond, subscribe now and join the journey into the world of ants.